Welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at something called the WPE WebKit. Now on its own the WPE WebKit is a browser that renders pretty much everything including CSS, JavaScript and HTML5 along with WebGL on your GPU. On the Raspberry Pi where the CPU power is very limited, it is a great contender. So this is a project by Resin io and it's on their playground github page as well and uh, it uses the resin.io setup to run any particular web page on the raspberry pi using uh, this wpe webkit now it does accelerate webgl really well uh, part of the fact is that it is not using the open source driver it is using the closed source driver which whose uh, binary is provided by uh, the raspberry pi foundation and that means it is going to be extremely stable so we can take a look at a few comparisons uh, where i test hello racer racer s and uh, something else that runs on webgl and you can very clearly see that there is a, an observable difference between uh, a webgl that runs on uh, the open source driver and on the closed source binaries provided by the raspberry pi foundation now the thing is that I wasn't able to get uh, WebGL to natively run on the newest Raspbian build on Chrome browser or any other browser. I tried a few others but it didn't want to work. What I had to do was to install Android on the Raspberry Pi and then install Chrome on that uh, and then I will able to I was able to run these demos so on the open source side of things we are running on Mesa 11.2 and on the uh, WebKit side of things we are running the uh, latest GPU binaries from the Raspberry Pi foundation and um, they actually work very very well and very very stable now apart from this being run on the HDMI display you can use other displays uh, such as a, Pi, sm a small Pi TFT screen or, or stuff like that and that means it is actually extremely great for digital signage and IoT kind of stuff where you want a Pi to display uh, certain uh, 3D graphics but uh, on a web page and then you can have multiple of them connected together on using the same um, Risen application so that means uh, most of them will be in sync with each other so uh, that is one of the um, applications of this project that I could figure out apart from that what I want to talk is HTML5 video now it does work pretty smooth at 1080p it is not as smooth as you would get on a PC and uh, when there is certain amount of overlay on the screen uh, while running these video on YouTube you do get a lot of lag and once these overlay uh, hide themselves the video is uh, pretty smooth and uh, pretty usable but uh, then again it is not as smooth as uh, you will get something on uh, a hardware rendered stuff like on uh, open elec running on the raspberry pi or something else but it is still pretty usable uh, if you are desperate enough maybe at 720p it is uh, much much more smoother so again uh, i will link the uh, github page down in the description and it has a great list of contents and on how to get started and stuff like that different configuration for different types of uh, displays so uh, i would like you all to go ahead and check this project out it's a very nice one um, the first time I've actually seen WebGL uh, running on the closed source drivers and as we know that is pretty stable so uh, there was no graphical glitches whatsoever again uh, that was shown in the uh, demos before in this video so again thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.